Also new tonight, there's finally going to be a new bridge to get you to Fire Island, and it's set to replace the one that's been standing for more than 60 years. News 12's Dama Ponton is live and shortly with the details on what took so long and how it's now going to affect the community there. Mackenzie, the Smith Point Bridge here has been a gateway to Fire Island for dozens of families since it was first built July 4th, 1969. Well, now Suffolk County officials say they have the green light from federal officials to knock down this 63 year old bridge and build a brand new one. The people we spoke with out here say they're all for it as long as it's safe. I'm concerned about pedestrians and people with bicycle. Dennis and Margaret of Suffolk say they are happy to hear that the Smith Point Bridge is going to be replaced and hope the new bridge will be safe and accessible for everyone. I think the problem is the drawbridge. Sometimes we get some pretty tall ships. According to Suffolk County, the new Smith Point Bridge, seen here in these renderings from the county, will be what's called a fixed bridge and will be built with a 55-foot vertical clearance there will also be a more than 300 foot long handicap accessible fishing pier underneath the bridge and an overlook along the bridge. The project will also include new recreational courts and bathrooms at Smith County Park. And this is a project that has been in the works for years. The original bridge opened on Independence Day in 1959 and county officials say it has stood for many years beyond its original life design. This is what County Executive Steve Ballone told News 12 back in 2019. This is uh, one of our most important parks and, and recreational assets as a gateway to Fire Island, National Seashore uh, as well. And because this is a bridge that uh, not only needs repair, needs replacement. Back then, the County Executive said the new bridge project would likely start in 2021. Now we are learning construction on the new bridge is expected to start in the middle of 2024 and open in 2027. So since it's going to be a couple of years before we see any signs of construction out here, county officials say this old bridge will stay up and accessible while they work on the new one. In Shirley, I'm Tamo Ponton, News 12, Long Island.